In this video, I'll show you how to manage your assignments in CS222. So here we are on Google Drive, and we're in the shared folder for this course. Uh, I see there's the assignments folder. I'll open that up. Uh, and I don't see a document here with my name on it because I haven't created it yet. Of course, I don't see any documents at all, but very shortly there will be more documents in here. Uh, so to create this document, I'll say New Google Docs. That will put the document right into that folder. Uh, when you go to do that, you'll probably get a confirmation dialog box that says something like, putting a document here will make it visible to other users, um, and then you'll have to confirm that. Uh, that's a good thing, because we want to be able to help each other out and see what each other are working on. Um, so back to my document. I want to make sure I give it my name. And let's say I'm working on the first assignment. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll say this is assignment one, and I'll use the styles here to get that in heading one style. And after I press enter, I'm back into normal text, so that's good. So I can say something about, let's say I have some code I want to analyze. Uh, here is some code I want to analyze. Of course, I'll capitalize the H. Um, let me just hop over to uh, IntelliJ, grab some code, paste it in here. Uh, and that was just Control-C, Control-V, normal copy-paste. Um, so once I'm looking at this code, notice that copying and pasting it from IntelliJ really just kind of worked fine. It kept all my formatting. Um, Google Docs thinks I have some typos in here. That's what all the you know, red underscores are for. I just ignore those. Um, maybe we notice here that there's uh, two parameters here, and we might say that that's a potential clean code violation. So uh, a nice way to annotate this with that kind of a remark is to use the comments feature here. Say, uh, this is a potential clean code uh, violation because there are more than one argument. There is more than one argument? There is more than one argument. And so on. Uh, and so I can go on and leave all my annotations here and then provide a refactored version and so on and so forth. Um, uh, I may also have some kind of essay I want to write here. Uh, for the sake of expediency, let me copy somebody else's work <laughs> and paste it in here. Um, when I look at this, it actually looks kind of bad. Um, and that's because when we copy out of a website or if you're using some other text editor, um, it doesn't really copy over the formatting in, in any kind of intelligent way, uh, in, in my opinion. Um, really, we want to stick, by using, uh, stick with using the styles that are provided by Google Docs. That makes sure that everything is consistent. And trust me, when you read as many of these as I do, consistency is really important. It makes it much easier to deal with. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is, out of this toolbar, I'm going to grab this clear formatting command. Uh, this is going to be your best friend if you happen to do all your writing outside of Google Docs. Of course, I think the real solution is to abandon tools like Microsoft Word and instead just write everything right in Google Docs because you can access it from anywhere, you can share with people, you can use these comments, and, and so on. Anyway, clearing the formatting uh, brings us into a nice uh, consistent format, so that's good. Easier to read. I might put in a new line there. That's a little nicer to read. Okay, so there's my assignment one submission. The thing I actually turn in when I click on this heading, it gives me a unique URL. So when I say, hey, here's my assignments, I'm going to submit assignment one. Um, I, uh, <laughs> this really drives me crazy in Blackboard. This comments section looks like that's where you should put things. Don't put anything in comments. It makes it really hard to grade. What we're going to do is write a submission. We're going to provide that link. And if we're feeling really polite, we can actually make it a proper hyperlink by, uh, by doing this. Blackboard does not make that easy. Um, one of the many reasons why we try to avoid it. But there we go. So now if, if I submit this, um, it becomes very easy for, uh, I guess, me to read later when I'm grading. Um, I would just submit it like that. Um, so what about when you go on to assignment two? Uh, we'll follow a very similar procedure. So uh, we'll go to the bottom of the document and maybe put in a couple blank lines. And now we can say I'm working on, uh, let's just use the heading right here, working on Oops, heading one is what I want. Assignment two, and then uh, you know, blah, 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 whatever I want to put in there. Uh, let me just grab this text again. So when I go to submit assignment two, right, this URL that I get just by clicking on here, right, it's the URL in here now, um, that URL takes us directly to assignment two. Um, and you can see that as an example. Let me open up a new tab and just paste in that URL. Um, and we can see it brings up the document. And then once it finishes loading, it jumps me right to assignment two. Um, so that's how you can manage your assignment submissions. Uh, in the event that you uh, do not successfully complete an assignment the first time, you can 
ask for a re-evaluation. You can do a resubmission up to once per week. All the policies for that are on the course description. Um, but remember that if you do that, you have to start with some kind of a change log. Um, so you want to do something like this. Change log. Um, since the last version, uh, I have uh, cleared the formatting and chosen different code to analyze. Uh, whatever, right, whatever goes there. Maybe a bulleted list would make more sense. Um, but that's all I mean by change log, is at the beginning you put this, and then you get into the main content afterwards. Uh, that way, if we go back and forth on a couple of revisions, which happens uh, pretty frequently in 2.22, right? It's, it's not the end of the world if, if you don't get it right the first time. Um, then we can we can work on this, and I can see that you've taken into account the feedback I've given you before. Um, so I hope uh, with this video you're able to successfully manage all of your CS222 assignments.